Today, we are driving from Portland up to Bar Harbor, and we decided that we would take Highway 1 up. Oh well, yeah, I heard that this, I put that on our list because it's supposed to be a good place, but man, look at that line. Wow. Yeah, oh my god, it's around the block. And stop in some cute little coastal towns. First, we stopped in Freeport so we could visit the Colonial McDonald's, because you know, when there's a Colonial McDonald's, you gotta go to it, right? <laughs> We've driven through some very scenic, beautiful areas, and we stopped in the town of Rockport. Um, we just stopped here because Carly seemed like she needed a break, she needed out, and um, I'm so glad we did. It's a little bit windy here today, but there's this spot down, um, there's a marina where there's like this little grassy area with like picnic tables and benches, and it's just like the most picturesque place I feel like I'm looking at a puzzle. <laughs> I mean, just look at this view. It's absolutely gorgeous here. It truly does feel like a puzzle. Don't, don't poke fun at me. It's a puzzle, okay? <laughs> Not a postcard, it's a puzzle. <laughs> Andre from the 90s uh, kids movie well I, I guess I didn't realize it but that was based on a true story there was a real Andre the seal and that movie and the real story I guess took place in this town so that's a fun coincidence that we happened upon <laughs> it's kind of funny because we're going to uh, Camden is, is another town we're planning on stopping in which was the filming location for the movie Casper. So it's weird that these two random towns are so close to each other, both like iconic 90s movies. There's also a wedding happening. We yeah. saw people eating sandwiches and I went in and I, I asked somebody about it and they're like, well, it's from probably from the wedding, but it's catered, you can't eat it. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I can't eat the wedding food, good to know. That's a lovely cake they have though. I know, obviously. <laughs> I heard that these this town has uh, belted Galloway cows. I think that's what they're called. Their like nickname is Oreo cows, and I see them over there. Look at them. They're so cute. There's this place here called Aldermere Farm, and like these cows are fairly rare. I guess they're originally from Scotland. Um, but they're ultra cute and I don't know that I've ever seen them before so I was like we just gotta stop I, I know you can like buy cow meat and other things here but it doesn't look like it's open today so I think there's also like walking trails and stuff like there's there's a whole thing but um I just wanted to see the cows now we can go, see them now we can go to Camden All right. <laughs> hi cows I love you you're cute supposed to have very nice weather but we've had really nice weather and now we pulled into Camden and it looks like it could rain <laughs> Casper the 90s movie was set in the town of Friendship Maine however uh, which which is a real town it's not too far from here however uh, Filming actually took place mostly in and around Camden, I believe. There is not a lot of information about it. I was wanting to do a whole filming locations video about Casper, but we just like ran out of time and didn't have enough time to do research because there's very little information. Um, but the sad thing is, if you're looking for that big cool house, it does not exist. I think it was a set. Uh, fun fact though, I learned yesterday, you guys remember, Jeremy remembers, the uh, Backstreet Boys video for everybody? Sure. Apparently, that video uses the exact same set as the Casper house. Oh, okay. Never knew that, learned that yesterday, so thanks internet. Blowing my mind on a continual basis. <laughs> Someone that I follow on Facebook recently was in Maine and I noticed a bunch of people commented on her post and said, you've got to visit Camden. And I was like, well, it's filmed in Casper. A lot of people say it's the cutest town in Maine, so let's check it out. And I'm glad 
glad that we are because it really is an adorable town. There's like this whole little section of uh, little shops and things. Um, there's all kinds of like cute boutique boutiques and stuff, but like what I really would like to find is some food. Um, we, we ate McDonald's this morning, but um, I'm, I'm ready for like a lobster roll. We parked right by the water, so I wanted to come down and check out the marina, but man, it's, it's beautiful. It's a lovely area, but it smells really good down here. I can smell the restaurants. Let's find food. I'm hungry. <laughs> place Peter Ott's is uh, has a dog friendly patio but their wait is too long so we might just wander town a little bit and then head north because I think there's more like lobster shacks and things like that plus that place seems kind of bougie and I'm all about like a like a lobster stand I want a lobster stand all right is that weird that that's my requirement today No. we drove through Bath there's supposed to be a good lobster place in Bath, but it had a line around the block. That town was just like crazy packed. And this, although busy, is like much more chill than that town was. I guess my question for you is, if you're familiar with this area, where should we eat the next time we're here? Because we will definitely be back. I feel like we didn't properly spend enough time here, but it is pretty busy, so we are gonna move on. I did it, I got the lobster tracks, and it has like lobster colored chocolate pieces in it, or caramel pieces, I think. Mmm, this is good ice cream. I really was like very tempted. They had like a fancy triple scoop blueberry thing and a waffle bowl. It sounded yummy. And they also had one called a belted cow, like the cows we just saw. Ah, they know. They know. know. They know about, their audience. Yeah. <laughs> which is you. Mm-hmm. Hi, cows. I love you. You're cute. all the way to Cadillac Mountain in Arcadia National Park. It's not so clear here today, but um, you can still get gorgeous, beautiful views. Like, look at all the town of Camden. It's, it's just like, you can see all the town. We were just there. <laughs> I went up into the tower, and the tower has even like better views, like 360 views. I think over that way is, um, Maguntacook, is that right? Maguntacook Mountain, which is, I think, the highest mountain on the Atlantic coast, I believe. So it's it's a really neat park. Um, there's all kinds of like trails and stuff you can do. We're doing like the very abbreviated version, but it's a lovely place to come. We drove outside of the town of Camden. We passed some really neat houses. Uh, including a really cool inn that I'm like, why are we not staying at that inn? Because it's not frugal. It's not, it's not. <laughs> However, um, we have come to Camden Hills State Park to the top of Mount Batty, which just makes me think of Ferngully. You know, Batty. My name, name is Batty and I'm on its mountain. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is too bad because yeah, like normally you can see a lighthouse out there. I can see like the land that it's on, but I can't, it's too cloudy. There's a bunch of islands, I guess you can see. Yeah, a bunch of islands and lighthouses and stuff. And yeah, not, don't have that far of a view today, but it's still quite beautiful. Apparently Cadillac Mountain is just right out that way. And I did hear someone saying, normally you can't see it. You can see a lot of stuff out there. It's okay. We knew, we knew it was gonna be cloudy today and we've actually had really nice weather. So I'm not complaining. It's, it's nice. It hasn't right. on us, so that's good. Although I did eat lobster in my ice cream. I'm ready for some real lobster. Let's head north. Belfast is 
already one of my favorite places that we've been in Maine. It's just like this perfect little cute town. All the houses are just really lovely. I don't know, I just, I love it here. There's a some kind of arts festival happening here on the waterfront. Let's get some food and then maybe we'll check out this arts festival. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is the vibe I was going for. Like little food trucks, grassy areas you can sit and just like eat outside, take in the views, have, have a lobster roll. I'm feeling great, this is great. Let's get some food. perfect as I wanted it to be. We've got this lovely view. We've got two great looking rolls. Jeremy got a crab roll and I got a lobster roll. And Carly's got a sad look on her face because she wants some. How's that going for you? The great thing about New England is that every lobster roll we have is a little different and none of them are bad. They are all fantastic. And um, I'm happy. Yeah, this is good. This is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, it was weird because on our way here we drove through like a thick fog. It got really foggy and I was concerned that we were not gonna have such a nice time, but man, it is just perfect here. Should we go check out that little like farmer's market or art art thing, whatever it is? Okay, let's go check it out. Well, that was lovely pretty cute little art fest. I'm glad that we just happened to be here at the time that it was happening, just happened to catch it, because that was a neat thing to be able to do. of Belfast is really cute. It's like all uphill coming from the water, but um, there's all kinds of uh, cute little shops and restaurants and all kinds of stuff. All right, Belfast, I like what you've got, but I think it's time to head to our motel for the evening. Yes, motel. That's the frug frugal bougie lifestyle. You eat a $22 lobster roll, and then you roll into your motel for the evening. driving around for like 10 minutes. The burial ground has a pin on Google Maps saying that it's Pet Cemetery filming location. And we've been driving around for like 20 minutes trying to figure out how to access it. There's just like a lot of private looking roads and yeah, like some no trespassing signs that we've come across. So um, I think we're just gonna try to fly the drone up and see if we can see it because it's gotta be around here somewhere. I know that you're supposed to like have to hike into it. I just don't know what the best way is to access it. It's very confusing and I don't wanna trespass. We don't like that here or anywhere. <laughs> But here especially seems like the kind of place you don't want to dress past. Carly's like, can you just figure out where we're going, please? I think I could see it. There's like a little clearing, like a little like rocky area. But I have no idea how we should get there. So I think we're going to have to just Pass skip on this that. one. Which is sad because it looks really cool. Um, but yeah, I guess... It happens. Sometimes we come across filling locations that just are not going to work for us. So, on to the next one.
We've had a wonderful day driving up the coast of Maine, but we have even more gorgeous views to take in, lighthouses to visit, and lobsters to befriend. As we head further up the coast of Maine, stay tuned.